And of course, I forgot to fill up my. Well, I didn't have a chance to fill up my ammo, did I? Okay, not a big deal. Another good strategy that uh, I've used before to really good effect is to uh, take Lilka and as soon as she gets 25 FP, have her Mystic a mini carrot. That will give everyone on your party 25 FP. It's a really good way to build up lots of FP quickly. Yeah, see, this guy is, he's nothing. But I still like to bring Tim along, just because he's, uh, he has first aid and, let's see, walk on. And with first aid, he can heal once, bring everyone back up to full HP, and then immediately go into attacking again. Also, his higher sorcery makes him, uh, do more damage with his mediums. So as soon as Tim gets 50 FP, I'm going to put a offensive medium on him and, you know, let her rip. Ptolemy has 8,000 HP. He gives 3,000 experience and no Gela. You may have noticed, actually, that uh, we don't get any Gela from enemies we don't actually kill. I guess it's because we have no corpse to loot. Alright. Sonic Claw. Lock on M cluster. I am incredibly disappointed in Ashley's, uh. Well, his bayonet attacks are really boring. Bayonet user in Wall Arms 3, his attacks are much cooler looking. Although Ashley does have more. I'm not using Sonic Claw for any particular reason, it just actually uh, is the fastest, I think, of the spells. It doesn't take it takes the least time to cast. As opposed to say Rock Bolt, which is at the top of my list. You know, he's got a hit, been hit with like several rocks, and yeah. I'm more than likely gonna have this guy dead by the time Ashley gets 100 FP. Like I said, I don't really like to lo rely on. Uh, Let's see how much a locked on pineapple does. I actually haven't shown you guys the pineapple yet. You've seen multi blast, I think. But I don't think I've shown you the pineapple. Okay. That works too. And I forgot to steal from the boss because I'm stupid, but you could have actually gotten a war fight from him if you had bothered to do that, which I should have done. Oh, he was just buying time for his... Oh! -ho -ho. Well, that's the way of a soldier. That's not good. Alright, we trust you. Yeah, it's a slight problem. I thought you were over the ocean. Well, then how is it going to cause a major disaster? 
Just go for the anchor. Let it crash. This this makes no sense. Why are we doing this? We don't even get to keep the dang ship. Which is stupid because it would make the perfect kind of uh, flight. It, it would be awesome because we'd be like stealing from the enemy, taking their ship and being like, yeah. it's ours now, bitches. But no, we just crash land it. This plane isn't for terrorists. This plane is for what? What is it for? I wish he had finished that sentence. Well, I guess maybe it sank. Go for it, boy. They can't see you. Stop waving. You look stupid. King, you are um, <clears throat> getting way too much amusement out of the flustered Guild Galad Master. Okay. Obviously not. Well, fie on them. Ooh, a hovercraft, huh? I think you get a ho don't you get a hovercraft in the third game too? I'm pretty sure you can. You get a hovercraft in this game and the third game instead of a ship. Cool. Data tablets, huh? Alrighty then. Let's GTFO to the hovercraft. Get to the hovercraft. I can't do it. I have a friend of mine. He can like perfectly mimic Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice. And it, it's just hilarious to hear him talk. Because he'll just bust out with, get to the chopper. He got on a Ventrilo server. And uh... Everyone thought he was Schwarzenegger. Well, I'm not gonna say everyone thought he was Schwarzenegger because I don't think everyone on that channel was that, you know, gullible. But you know, it was pretty funny to hear. All right, let's see. I've got three points to spend for everybody but Brad. Alrighty then, I need to actually start working on Restore HP for Tim. I need to max that out. Hum. At this point in the game, you pretty much have a lot of leeway with what you can do uh, for your personal skills. You can either, you have lots of good choices. You could do Restore HP. You could do one of the ups, uh, up, M attack, P attack, de P defend, M defend, up parameter is a good one. You know, uh, any one of those is a good thing to spend your next points on. And it might not necessarily even be a bad idea to, to kind of split your points between them. Kind of like do this one, and then do this one, and then go back maybe put some more points into there. Because the bosses in this game are not, like, typically hard. Uh, it really doesn't matter what you spend those points on due to the fact... As, as long as you got uh, up HP early enough, it doesn't really matter how you spend the rest of your points <clears throat> until the end of the game. Because uh, none of the bosses, none of the regular bosses really require any of that. It's, it's the optional bosses that really, really you need to have... Uh, all that up P, up defend, 
uh, up P defend, up M defend, and then the appro either the appropriate uh, P attack or M attack, depending on whether they use physical attacks as their primary or magical attacks. And the up uh, parameter is pretty good to have too, considering you'll be taking so much damage in those battles that you're, it'll cause your stats to like pretty much go through the roof. All right, now. What do I have? Two Mega Berries? That's not too bad. Alright, now at this point in the game, I'm actually going to... Probably... Well, I can hold off on that. I was going to go see about buying an elemental ring, but uh, it's really not required. Your hovercraft shows up as a yellow dot on your map, so you pretty much always know where it is. And once you go into your hovercraft, you can now open up a much bigger map by hitting select. I think you can only do this while you're in the hovercraft. No. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, what, what we're doing here is actually we're going to find the data tablets. And you find them by using your search function. But actually what I suggest you do is... I think there's one around here, actually. No, wait, it's up here. In between this island. That's one of the tablets. Alright, now. There's one up here. Or we could randomly find three Gela. That's not bad either, I guess. Let's see. There's one. Oh, by the way, you can, uh, well, you've already noticed, you can get into battles out here. I think there's only one enemy out in this sea called the Cuttlefish. Alright, now... The last tablet is... Over here, I do believe. And you go to, you have to contact uh, Irving to get your next instructions. But before we do that, there is a side quest we can do. Come right here and you can go to the Thunder Lion Cage. Where, obviously, we're going to get another medium because, you know, that's what we do. You get right here, you get the album coupon with Puka. You go left. Up the stairs. Like I said, all these side quest areas are really short. Alright. Throw that switch. 